Namaste, it's Sahara Rose, and welcome back to the Highest Self Podcast, a place where we discuss what makes you your soul's highest involvement. This episode is a little taste of my upcoming Doshas and Dharma four-week program. It is an online group coaching experience with live weekly group coaching calls with me, plus videos, PDFs, mentor, you have accountability partner, everything you need to figure out your life purpose. Because the question that I get more than anything is, how do I stay consistent with something? And also, what is my path? What is my higher calling? So I created this program using the tools that I learned on the path and how I learned how to figure out what it is I'm good at, how I could best serve, how I can share my gifts, how I can make a living doing these things. So I put all these tools together in this four-week program, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So head over to my website, IamSaharaRose.com, and you will see it right there on my website. Apply. I want Want you to take the leap, take the call, stop wasting time, stop going around in circles and really seek help from a mentor, from a community, from something so much greater than just you. Because a lot of times we totally get in our own ways and we aren't able to see things in another light because we're so in our own story. So this program is to get you out of there, to get you into something so much greater than yourself, to catapult your career and help you live out your dharma. Because when people are living out their dharma, the world comes into balance. Balance. So head over to IamSaharaRose.com. You can check it out, Doshas and Dharma program. You can Google Doshas and Dharma program. You'll find it. And I'm so excited to mentor you on this group coaching experience. People ask me all the time, what is the secret? How do I become successful? How do I have a thriving career that I love? How do I make money doing my craft? How do I share my message with the world? And there's one answer, consistency. You can do anything. And if you're consistent at it, you will make it. It's not an if, it's a for show. I just got a notification from my LinkedIn, which I never go on, that it had been seven years since I listed Eat Feel Fresh, my blog, as my occupation. Seven years. I can only begin to think about how much I've grown as a human being, how much situations in my life have changed, how much I've moved, but blogging, being, eat, feel fresh, continuing that every single week, coming out with new content, that did not shift. And that is the only reason I am here speaking with you today. In life, we are presented with many, many different opportunities. We can travel, we can start new careers, we can get married, we can move, we can do so many things and we should take advantage of as many of those opportunities as feels right. But what happens is sometimes we just get so stuck on doing that next thing or we get bored with the task at hand or when things get hard, we run away from it that we don't put in the consistency it takes for that project to take it to the next level. If you look at any blogger you follow, any business that you love, any author that you read, any podcaster that you listen to, anyone that's doing really anything in life, they'll all tell you it's consistency. It doesn't matter what you write. It doesn't matter what you share. It doesn't matter if you had a good or bad day. All that matters is that you put in the work that you showed up, that you made your vision a priority. And what happens is so much of us in the pursuit of life, we get sidetracked and we start to divide our attention and we focus on things that aren't actually bringing us to our goal. And with that, our energy gets dispersed in different places. And that's essentially what a vata imbalance in the mind is. It's the energy is moving like wind, but it's not flowing in one direction. It's just scattered. It's everywhere. It's a tornado. Whereas what you really need is that active push in that direction. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't 
change what you want to do. You shouldn't grow. You shouldn't continually adapt your vision to whatever your highest purpose is at the moment. But having something that you commit yourself to, that you say, no matter where I'm at in my life, I'm going to show up and do this. That is going to take you so many places. So I want you to just take a few moments and think about what is that thing that you know you ought to be doing or you want to get started, but you just haven't. The energy hasn't been there. You haven't put in that work yet. It could be signing up for IIN. It could be joining culinary school. It could be starting a blog. It could be starting a new business, quitting your job, traveling. What is that thing you've been putting on the back burner that you know your soul really, really needs? Now I want you to think, what is preventing you from making a consistent effort towards this goal? What do you need to let go of to make space for this goal? How would your life look differently if you were consistent with this goal? What changes can you make to your schedule daily, weekly, and monthly to make this goal a possibility? Imagine what your life will look like in one year if you were consistent with this goal. Now say out loud, I am going to be consistent with, and state whatever your goal is. I am going to be consistent with my podcast. I am going to be consistent with showing up at the gym. I am going to be consistent with going to networking events. I am going to be consistent with taking care of my household, whatever it is, say it out loud so the universe can hear.
beautiful. Now, whenever you get home, if you're out, write down those little changes to your daily, weekly, and monthly schedule that you would make to make this goal a possibility. Because if we don't schedule for something, chances are it's not going to happen. And it could be something like setting two hours of free time every Friday to just brainstorm. Setting a few minutes in the morning to try a new yoga pose. Setting time every month to volunteer at a homeless shelter. Whatever it is, mark it down in your calendar. Set it as important of a date as you would with your boss or your colleague or a really hot guy. This is your life and nothing is more important. Namaste. Namaste.